Vikings on History Channel has proven that it has a devoted fan following that has lasted with them for six seasons. The main character's likability has been a key aspect in the franchise's popularity and longevity. The writers obviously took some chances while penning these character storylines in order to make them fascinating. And during the course of Vikings, there weren't many plot twists, but that doesn't mean that viewers anticipated every story piece coming, and they did not like some surprises also. Welcome to the Vikings Code channel, and today we will be talking about 10 plot twists that were not liked by the fans, and they actually hurt the show. So before we start, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Number 10. Ragnar Having Relationships with Multiple Women from the first episode of the series, Ragnar and Ligurtha made a strong impact. Their connection was evident. They were both as amazing in their own right. That's why it was so disappointing when the show's focus shifted to their marital problems. It was revealed that Princess Oslog fell pregnant with Ragnar's child during Ragnar's brief indiscretion with her. Ragnar and Ligurtha's strong chemistry was broken as a result, and this came as a shock to the fans. Number 9. Rollo Leaving for Paris Ragnar's counterbalance was always Rollo. He constantly seemed to be lurking in the shadows, waiting for his brother to be in a vulnerable position so that he could seize what he believed was rightly his. When that time arrived in Season 4 though, Rollo was just not there. This was significant to the overall storyline because it put pressure on Ragnar's sons to take on a larger role, one that they were not capable of fulfilling at the time. And when Ragnar died, Rollo was in France, and there was no glimpse of him in that scene. Number 8. Death of Ragnar While the show was still running, many fans believed it ended for them when Ragnar died. Yes, for these fans, the series finale is the episode in which Ragnar Lothbrok, the series protagonist, dies. Although Bjorn Ironside was also a great protagonist, no one could have filled the place of Ragnar. Number 7. Everyone's Obsession with Athelstan Ragnar's slave and subsequently counselor, Athelstan, was initially a priest. He was intelligent, but he wasn't a game changer. Ragnar and King Eckbert's obsession with him became rather annoying to the overall storyline as he went back and forth between Wessex and Kattegat. The only major part that Athelstan had in the saga was when he fathered Alfred, the future ruler of Wessex, with Judith. None of this added anything to Eckbert or Ragnar's plot, making their obsession with Athelstan a waste of time. Number 6. Oslog Taking Over Ligurtha Ligurtha and Ragnar just had a special bond. They were on an equal footing in every manner, and neither seemed to have an advantage over the other. This is important in the sense that it rarely occurs in a show with two major characters at any given time. Nonetheless, Vikings did it for almost two seasons. Unfortunately, that bond did not last. Ligurtha left Kattegat when Ragnar cheated on her with Oslog in Season 2. Oslog never developed as a character, and although being a member of the main cast, she always seemed to belong in the background, which is exactly where we don't want you to be, so make sure you're front and center by commenting on this video, liking it, subscribing to the Vikings Code channel, Now here comes the top 5. At number 5, Floki murdering Athelstan. Ragnar, a proud Odin follower, and his Christian slave Athelstan, captured during an early raid, formed one of the most crucial emotional relationships in the early seasons of the show. Because of Athelstan's Christian temperament and closeness to Ragnar, Ragnar's best buddy Floki is suspicious of him and shows his hate publicly. Nonetheless, the audience is taken aback when Floki, in a fit of fanatical and paranoid rage, attacks a praying Athelstan, believing that his murder will bring blessings to the Vikings. And it was so displeasing to see such a prominent character killed in a single blow. Number 4. Ragnar's Inability to Rule Ragnar was the hero of Season 1. He had enormous hopes for his people on the major stage of world colonization, dreams that would permanently transform their viewpoint. But Ragnar began to regress as a character in Season 2. He was no longer ambitious, and he seemed to have lost all interest in extending his reign. Number 3. Bjorn Marital Problems, Just Like Ragnar Throughout the series, Ragnar cheated on both of his wives several times. When it came to this behavior, his son Bjorn looked to be the anti-Ragnar version, but as a child only. When he became an adult, he was probably a hundred times lustier than his father. Number 2. Ligurtha and Hemond's Relationship when Ivar initially captured Bishop Hemond, he appeared to be a weapon that may help Ivar win the fight against Ligurtha and Bjorn. However, their union was short-lived when Hemond saw Ligurtha. Enamored by her beauty, he vowed his allegiance to her and promised her a future together. Unfortunately, Hemond's conflict between his love for Ligurtha and his Christian beliefs never reached a conclusion before his death. His joining forces with Ligurtha, though, had no effect on the result of the battle for Kattegat, leaving the idea of his fighting for the Vikings meaningless. And the number one plot twist that most hurt Vikings? Ragnar becoming a drug addict. Ragnar had been suffering from severe depression since the beginning of Season 2, but instead of confronting his problems, he chose to become drug dependent. 
In fact, his drug addiction hampered him to the point where he was unable to lead his troops during and after their invasion on Paris. Fans really disliked such behavior from the main lead character of the show. And that wraps up today's video. Which plot twist was the most shocking and heartbreaking for you? Let us know in the comments section. Like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned with us. We will see you in the next one.